What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 15. Sleeper picks. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna give you some of my top DFS sleeper picks, super low priced and low ownership players that could crush value this week and give your lineup an advantage over the field. These are risky plays meant for large tournaments only. Don't go all in on any of these guys. They are high risk, high reward picks. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Oh, and good news guys, make sure to stay tuned to the very end of this video because we removed the box that was popping up and blocking the lineup. So now you can see a full lineup using these picks that we made in this video if you stay to the very end. Okay guys, NFL week 15. Let's take a look at the quarterback position. So I just want to apologize for my final look video. I really have been tuned out of the news for the past couple of days. And this is my fault, but I didn't see all those game postponements. But the players that I picked in the final look video from games that were postponed, I will like when they play on Tuesday. So if you find a player in that video, just know that I'm gonna like them on the day that they play. So nothing changes, but the games that are postponed, of course, don't add those players to your lineup. You'll see that they, those games have been postponed when you go to uh, check the players in DraftKings or FanDuel, so no problems there. Okay, so let's take a look at the quarterback position. My sleeper pick, is Ryan Tannehill from the Tennessee Titans playing the Pittsburgh Steelers who have the eighth worst defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Ryan Tannehill has averaged 17.3 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 3.2 rush attempts per game. He's only going to be about 4% owned, projected at 16.8 fantasy points here in week 15. He's 5,900 DraftKings salary, 1,100 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 43 points scored in this game, with the Tennessee Titans trailing by one and a half. So pretty good matchup here. And Ryan Tannehill has a healthy Julio Jones, and if that guy gets going... Tannehill could have a good day, and Tannehill has scored 17, 9, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games, and he got four, five, and two rush attempts in those games, so I'm looking for 20 plus fantasy points here, and save some salary on the quarterback with low ownership in a pretty good matchup, so I like Ryan Tannehill here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. So my sleeper pick at the running back position is Aaron Jones from the Green Bay Packers playing the Baltimore Ravens, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they've been pretty good versus opposing running backs, but Aaron Jones has averaged 15.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 11.5 rush attempts per game and 4.3 pass targets per game. He's only going to be about 4% owned, projected at 15.1 fantasy points here in week 15. And he's only 6,600 DraftKings salary, 900 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 43.5 points scored in this game, with the Packers favored by 7. 
So Aaron Jones, he was injured for a little bit. He's been losing carries to A.J. Dillon, but now he's not on the injury report, so he should be healthy and good to go for this game. So I am expecting more volume. He scored 22 fantasy points last week off of five rush attempts and three pass targets. But I am expecting 12 to 15 touches here from Aaron Jones. And at 6,600 with a 4% ownership, this guy can score 20 plus fantasy points. So I like Aaron Jones here versus the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. My wide receiver sleeper pick is Chase Claypool from the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the Tennessee Titans, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Chase Claypool has averaged 12.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.4 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 78% of the snaps, only going to be about 2% owned, projected at 13 fantasy points here in week 15. He's 5,900 DraftKings salary and only 500 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 43 points scored in this game with the Steelers favored by one and a half. So fantastic matchup here. Chase Claypool has scored 18, 7, and 11 fantasy points in the last three games off of 9, 3, and 8 pass targets. He's also got one rush attempt in each of the last two games. So pretty decent volume here for Chase Claypool. And he's been pretty productive and he's got a great matchup and low ownership. So I like Chase Claypool here versus the Tennessee Titans. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. I got a couple sleeper picks for you here. The first one is Noah Fent from the Denver Broncos playing the Cincinnati Bengals who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Noah Fant has averaged 9.9 .9 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.9 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 82% of the snaps, only gonna be about 4% owned, projected at 9.6 fantasy points here in week 15. He's 4,400 DraftKings salary and 1,200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 44 points scored in this game with the Broncos favored by three. So good matchup, close competitive game. And Noah Fant, he's been underperforming his season average the past few games. Only scored nine, seven, and four fantasy points off of four pass targets in each of those games. So I'm expecting a little bit more out of Noah Fant here this week. So I like Noah Fant here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, now this next sleeper pick, he's been disappointing, but he hasn't been awful and his salary has come down and his ownership is low. And this guy does have some monster upside. So I like Kyle Pitts from the Atlanta Falcons playing the San Francisco 49ers who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing tight ends. But Kyle Pitts has averaged 11 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 6.8 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 74% of the snaps, gonna be about 4% owned, projected at 11 fantasy points here in week 15. He's 5,500 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel, 
Vegas thinks there's going to be 46 points scored in this game with the Falcons trailing by 9.5. So Kyle Pitts has scored 11, 9, and 5 fantasy points in the last 3 games off of 6, 7, and 6 pass targets. This is a guy who has 25 plus fantasy point upside. He just hasn't been able to get going lately. Really, the past five games have not been good. Hasn't scored more than 11 fantasy points. So I am expecting more from Kyle Pitts this week. And he's got a game that could turn into a passing game script versus the 49ers. So he could get six to 10 pass targets in this game. So I like Kyle Pitts here versus the San Francisco 49ers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.